Hello, I'm Tingran432, and welcome to the final part of my Mega Man Zero Three playthrough. So, uh, in the last part, we killed the rest of the boss masters, boss masters, and now we're going to go see Harpuya because he's recovered in the maintenance room over here. Let's go talk to him real quick. Can you stand up already? Wow, well, Harpuya, you're hard to keep down. What are you up to? Why did you rescue me? Do you expect some favor in return? Perhaps. Oh, you're awake. How do you feel? Horrible. Just the thought of being held by you is horrendous. Stripped of my position. I'm used goods. You're not true. You stood up for your beliefs, and you made no mistakes. My beliefs. I can't sit back any longer. I have to stop a while. Wait, your wounds aren't fully healed yet. I am a warrior, born to protect the humans. And I... Blah blah blah, something, I'm skipping way too fast. He's gonna fight for humanity, save the world. So, our preview refuses to go with us. Mr. Zero, come to the commander's room immediately. They sure run, run you ragged, Zero. Be careful. Something like that, I don't read it too fast. Don't you dare die. Something. Man, I'm really bad at this. I was, was, was recording, I was just skipping the cutscenes way too fast. Anyway, let's talk to Seal, and she'll tell us what was in that sunken library. Library B. Zero, I'm sorry. You gathered a lot of info, but we still don't know where Wyle is. But we might have figured out what he's trying to do. Before we talk about why, I'll open the data from the Elf Wars that you found. File number 945369... I don't know. Near the end of the Maverick Wars, the Cyber Elves... Ah. In particular, the use of a gigantic elf named the Dark Elf, and copies of this elf known as Baby Elves, to amplify the power of Reploids, while controlling said Reploids at will, made this the worst war in recorded history, while use of the Dark Elf brought an end to the... War, approximately 90 and 90 percent of reploids and 60 percent of humans were killed. Tech used it this time. The tech. That's what Wiles trying to use again. I'm sure that the that what Zero saw at the Dark Elf factory was made just to do that to copy baby elves. <laughs> Excellent detective work, Doctor Zeal. What? Unfortunately, you were a little too late. Is that Dr. Wilde? Yeah, this time Omega is absolutely perfect. I can now manipulate all Reploids without even using baby elves and make them do whatever I want. Time to start, Omega. Now you will see, pitiful humans, what you get for banishing Dr. Wilde. Taste the fear. Foolish Reploids who banished me! Inscribe my name upon this world. The name of your new ruler. That name is Dr. Wilde. The entire world in my hands. I can crush it with my fingers at any time. <laughs> no! This can't be happening. A new world, new order. History is once again in motion. Seal, get back! Z Zero? Inscribe it upon the name of our new ruler, Wild. Both of you freeze! Whee! Da! It's okay, they're just unconscious. All I did was disable the power of the Dark Elf. My current power can only protect the base. Took you long enough, X. Where's Wild? In New Arcadia's underground power system, Sub Arcadia. Omega is there too, transmitting the power of the Dark Elf around the world. Apparently, X and I are the only ones who can move around freely. X, tell us the sub coordinates for New Sub Arcadia. Be careful, Zero. Something about something. And Omega. I. I verified the coordinates for Sub Arcadia and have inputted them to the transfer device. Transfer me. Roger. All personnel prepare for transfer. Preparations for transfer complete. 
Grant's fair. Zero. Come back safely. Alright, here we are, Sub Arcadia. That was a mouthful, my throat was dry and I was skipping that text way too fast. But you know what, sometimes you, you gotta pause for those commas, and you can't just, you gotta stop when a sentence ends. So I can't read it that fast. Anyway, I just entered cyberspace and got pretty buffed up by the cyber elves, but um, you might wonder why. I said I would never really do that. I only did it once to show you, but um, there is a secret here. It's a secret boss that I will show you in a second. You have to hop to this room that was not be there if it's not for cyberspace. So let's go, see what it is. I never thought I would meet you again in this world. If that, thanks to Omega and his ilk, the portal to cyberspace had been opened, then fate is truly an ironic thing. Phantom! One of the four guardians! But I defeated you! This is a shadow world where both cyber elves and other things live, so somehow I drifted back to cyberspace. This space where all data flows to an end, and there I learned all truths about you, Dark Elf. Omega. Exactly this something something. I can't stand you. I'm going to kill you. Because I know everything. Sorry about that text skipping, but anyway. <laughs> yeah, look, it's Phantom, guys. This is Phantom from Zero One. You might remember him. I don't remember when I played Zero One on the channel, but I did. And, uh, see, so yeah, here's Phantom. He's got similar attacks to before. He's got this attack where he tries to hide, even though you can surely see him. Uh, but he has quite a few more shurikens now. Or, are they shurikens? No, those aren't. Those are kunai. Not very... Maybe? I don't even want to know. They're just knives. I'll call them knives. But anyway, uh, same attack pattern, just got more blades. He used to just throw one blade down, but now he just throws four. We truly did have the soul of a hero. Go, cross blades with Omega and show what that body can do. Will your blade flinch after you learn the truth? Can you be a true hero? You must determine that. Well, I have no idea what he was talking about there. Um, what truth? What secrets? Oh well, I guess we'll figure it out in a bit. Anyway, let's continue playing through. Uh, that should have killed me, but I'm in cyberspace and I probably have a cyber elf that saved me just there. Thanks, buddy. Uh, anyway, this is stage. You gotta hop in these platforms, avoid spikes. And they go in the direction that the arrow shows they are going to go in. And there are these cameras throughout the stage. Kill him for mission points. But yeah, that was Phantom over there. Phantom of the Four Guardians. Phantom who died. But, you know, whatever. Um, just a cool little secret. Boss. Mini boss there. Um. It kinda makes you think, though. Like, spoiler, but, um. If, theoretically, any other main characters were to die, would they just be in the cyberspace? Like, forever? Like any of the Replo characters? But anyway, I think I'm getting a little bit ahead of myself. Um, we'll just continue with the stage. Um, not too much to say about this stage. It's a pretty solid stage in general. Um, got this part where you're falling. I don't think there are any spikes at the bottom or anything, so you could just free fall all the way down. Uh, be careful with those dudes. They're kinda weird. I don't like those punching dudes. Um, but whatever, just keep falling, falling down. Deeper into the rabbit hole. Oh, I just made it Okay, whatever. Um, I believe we're almost at the end of the stage, as we will have to exit cyberspace now to face the boss of the stage. Who you might remember? It is. Dr. Wild. <laughs> How gallant you are, Zero, to play the hero, all by yourself. All the Reploids in the entire world are under my power, and humans are like pigs dependent on upon Reploids. Don't you realize that if I felt like it, I could wipe out all humans in the blink of an eye? Kriya, Priya, do with this one as you please. I've got some pig squeals to enjoy. 
Okay, he just called humans pigs like three times within 20 seconds. Um, I'm not really much of a grammar dude, but saying the same word over and over just kind of doesn't sound like Anyways, my favorite baby yells, um, Kriya and Priya making some creepy lines about just killing me. So yeah, we'll see how that turns out for them in a second. Um, pretty much the same strategy. Uh, they have a few more attacks, but still, they're pretty easy to dodge. You just gotta, this one, they're spinning a ride around. Uh, like a record, um, you just gotta go around. This one, they're spinning again. I just really love spinning. They're like children. Uh, but anyway, they have different invulnerability frames. So you could hit Kriya, and then hit Kriya, and then hit Kriya again, and then hit Kriya again. Uh, because their invulnerability boxes are different timed. Kriya. Something's wrong. Yes, Kriya, there's something wrong. I feel like I'm being stabbed with pins and needles. I feel like I'm being smashed with clubs and hammers. Me me what a way to go, huh? Zero, are you alright? I just received some new info from X. Come back to the base. Whoop. Understood. Transfer me. That voice was totally incorrect for Zero. Oh uh, yeah, that was, uh... The baby elves are dead. I did that. Um, from killing Fefni- er, from defeating Phantom, we got the Ultima Foot Chip, which is like the ultimate foot chip. But anyway, back to the story. Zero, it's great to see you back safe. X sent us some new coordinates. Currently, they indicate where Wyle and Omega are. This might be the last battle, so come talk to me when you're ready. I am ready. You guys have waited a few months for this playthrough, and it should have only taken about three and a half weeks. So let's go. The original data has been input, and the coordinates lead to a lab. And that's where Wyle's making his research, and it just so happens to be right next to where the beginning of Zero One was, where Zero was sleeping. Let's go. So here we are, final stage. Um, so, I- the ultimate foot chips alright, um, it enables all of the foot chips. I don't know if it's all the foot chips, like, in the entire game or just the ones you have, but, um, it enables all of them, and some of them are kind of weird. Like this dash one, the shadow dash. Uh, you cannot collect items while dashing, and but you can dash through certain enemies, but not if you jump dash, only if you dash on the ground. Uh, it's weird, um, it's a weird thing, but I like to use it. I mean, it just has the double jump, so it's it's all good. I almost died right there. Um, so yeah, with every final stage comes the boss rush, and coming up is the first round of boss rush. So here we go. Uh, enjoy this music and sped up sped up video. Alright, so that was the first half of the stage there, first boss rush, the first four bosses, and that music there was the opening stage, the highway, from the Mega Man X Maverick Hunter, or Mega Man Maverick Hunter X. 
that was a remake of Mega, the original Mega Man X that came out on, what was it, PSP, which I do not have, and probably can't run on my computer, sadly, so I'm probably not going to be playing that one, uh, ever. Yeah, that's real hopeful plot, but anyway, uh, cool game, I guess it's a good weird make, I even haven't played myself, though. But whatever, uh, let's continue the level. Uh, this next part we got some slippery stuff here. Don't fall over. We got some laser stealth things, but I don't really care if I trip them or not. It doesn't affect your mission score or anything. So let's just, just get through there. And I believe we are coming up to the next Mosh Rush part after we ascend this uh, vertical hallway here. Alright, be right back. Alright, so that was the final part right there, or final part of the boss rush at least. And now we have the final part of the stage before the final boss. Uh, as you can tell from my overuse of a single word, we are nearing the end. Um, but since we are nearing the end, you might want to be careful not to die. Uh, you see these spikes here? Really annoying. I was attempting to speedrun the game. Um, I mean, I ain't breaking no records or nothing. But, um, I was at like 55 minutes, and I consider that pretty fast, and I died on those spikes. So don't do that. We're at the final boss. Here we go. <laughs> Having fun playing the Hero Zero? Hmm. You don't understand that I have no time for your petty games. So let's finish this once for all, shall we? Heh. <laughs> How pitiful. Of course, a reploid like you would never understand joy of ruling everything. Only a human would. Ugh, a human. That's right, I'm a bona fide human, the creator of reploids. The desire for power, the joy of making everything work for you. You have no idea of experiencing this without a human brain. You cannot comprehend it. I bet most decent people wouldn't understand either. I've got to dispose of you like a maverick. <laughs> Good. An excellent speech, Zero. Must have made you feel great. Man, this text is going really fast. I can't even read it properly or go back to my original voice. So anyway, uh, Wiles a human, and then Zero's like, whatever, I don't care. So now we're gonna be fighting Omega, who can talk, apparently. Anyway, this form of Omega is basically the same he has the same attacks as the opening stage, Omega, and uh, yeah, not too much to say about this fight. He is golden now and he has one more attack. Um, he'll pull out this sword from his back, like that, and uh, it'll go down and strike the ground, but in the third strike it'll make dirt go everywhere. Other than that, he's the same. His attacks are just faster. Not bad, Zero. But Omega's true power is much greater than you've been led to resp uh, expect. Release the power of the Dark Elf! <laughs> um, so, uh, apparently this is Omega's true power. He's a weird, uh, fan fiction. Yeah, we'll go with that, of, uh, Omega being in the center of Zero and X. Sure, let's just go with that explanation for it. Anyway, um, he's got a few attacks, he's got this attack where he just, he 
you just have to jump in the corner. And then he's got this attack, probably his hardest attack, where this weird green ball energy thing follows you around. And then there's this attack where you have to dash under a laser. And that's about it. You bring your sub tank just in case, because you wouldn't want to start all the way over from that point. Well, this is a familiar location. What is this place? Yeah, this is where Zero was sleeping. This is where I was sleeping. Yeah, thanks, Zero. <laughs> Excellent, Zero. Your power is extraordinary for a mere fake. Fake? <laughs> you, the legendary Reploid? Fool! Those resistance losers just assume that you are Zero because you look exactly like him. <laughs> you thought you were the hero, but you're a copy. <laughs> Omega was the real Zero. Well, why is he your slave? Oh no, he's the god of destruction. I am the one what who gave him it? power. <laughs> now kill Zero, Omega. Okay, I don't know. I don't know what that was. Anyway, we're fighting Omega here. Um, pretty, actually, a pretty lame battle. <laughs> um, you would expect him to be a lot stronger and faster and more unpredictable, but uh, no, this is Omega. Omega's true form is Zero. Zero's original body plot twist. This is what I was referring to earlier. But whatever, he's kind of slow. You can predict his movements. I have no idea what that thing where he pounced around and the white walls protected him for a second. I don't know what that's for. It doesn't do anything. But anyway, be careful with this dude. Don't get in, the th in his three, <laughs> three slash combo. Should be good to go. Unless I'm just really good and talking really loudly. Huh? You plan to reactivate Omega? Gulp! <laughs> Watch, but don't interfere. Don't forget I hold the lives of humans and reploids in my hand. Hi, RP. What's up? Zero, what are you doing? Hurry, stand up! Hey, I'm here to get a little payback, Omega. <laughs> Time to straighten the record. You guys! Wiles trying to bluff, bluff you. He can't do anything in his current state. Da! Dark Elf! Shut them up! Zero! What is it, Dark Elf? Well, that was a weird voice. It should have sounded exactly like Zero, but whatever. Here, the Dark Elf's curse is fading. That's right, Wyle, it's me, just like a century ago. I worked with Zero to destroy Omega, and we saved the world from your greedy clutches. The defeated Omega is still using your original body, but only that. Your heart is still you. Now, finish him. Zero, don't do it! That's your original body, don't you feel attachment? Are you really prepared to spend the rest of your life in that cheap fake? You can do it, Zero. Go! This is the final moment of the game, by the way. We only have our saber. We have nothing to do. No start menu. Here we go. Get dead, Omega. Zero. 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 Wake up. Zero. Can you hear me, Zero? My energy is almost all spent. I can't stay in this world much longer. Zero, I want to leave the world in your care. The threat Wild represents hasn't left the world. I want you to protect the humans and replicants. Zero, you can do it.
Zero, wake up. Zero. Ah, oh, what a relief. I was worried about you. Mr. Zero, you've regained consciousness. What a relief. Hey, everyone. Mr. Zero's awake. He's alright. Yeah. Where is this? Resistance base. Who, who could have... Zero... Dark Elf. Wait, no. You're... She brought you back here. Zero... What a warm, gentle light. Mother Elf. Has Wild's curse been broken? Shouldn't we follow her? She's finally free. There's still Wild, but let's let her rest in peace for now. X told me about you, Zero. Really? I know you're not worried about a thing, but... Huh? Even if your body is a copy, as long as your heart is your own, you are Zero. The one and only. Zero. Dramatic walking. Seal. Thank you. Z zero It's just me. I am... Zero. Well, that's all, folks. Mega Man Zero Three. Um, yeah. Thanks for watching. Uh, congratulations on being one of the few people to actually watch um my entire video. I listen to my analytics, and very few people actually do that. Anyway, uh, most of the times I would be during the credits trying to pronounce Japanese names, but I feel. That this time I might not do that, instead, uh, geek out about this game, an amazing game, and do a little review, mini review of Mega Man Zero 3. Here we go, I'm just gonna do that instead, um, for the next few minutes. First thing I would like to talk about is the story, which we just finished, and is mostly the reason I'm playing this one on YouTube. Uh, anyway, the story is pretty good, it's got that plot twist I talked about. I mean, Wild did bomb a civilian district just to find the Dark Elf. So that kind of establishes it, him as a uh, interesting villain. Uh, plot twists. Most Mega Man games don't really have plot twists or plot in general. Sorry about that beeping noise you might have heard. That is somebody's food. Not mine, but, you know, there's a kitchen here. But, um... Anyway, uh, it's a pretty good story. Uh, X dying in the end was pretty sad. Um, also, the three guardians are dead now, by the way. Not that it matters or anything, but um, when I do zero four, um, they will not be showing up. Because they died when Omega exploded. Or at least that is a common theory. There is a nice piece of artwork that I would like to show you later, maybe after the credits end. Uh, that indicates that are, they are still alive, but in cyber form. But, I'll get to that later. Next thing I want to talk about is the music. Music's better than it has ever been on the Game Boy Advance, and uh, is probably the best. In the entire uh, series, Mega Man Zero Four kind of uh, not as good. Um, so moving on, let's talk about the gameplay, and the gameplay is probably the best in this game, and the, along with the level design and everything else. The... what is it? The recoiler rod is the best tool ever, while the shield boomerang is still there and it's just kind of not very good still. Um, having all of the abilities from the start is pretty good, and the EX skills... oh, hard mode. <laughs> Ha 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 ha. No. What was I gonna say? Right. The Z Saber is fully upgraded along with all the other weapons. No more of that stuff. That was weird in the other games. But anyway. 
Mega Man Zero Three. Next, I'm um, probably, you know, obviously going to be moving on to Zero Four, finish off the series, but um, I might do something different before then, or maybe after. It's uh, it depends. I'm probably going to do Zero Four, but anyway, here's this artwork I wanted to show you. Um, clearly, you can see the four guardians. They are all there. You got Fafnir is the first one you probably notice. Leviathan, Harpuya, and Phantom over there in the um, lower right side. He's kind of standing on a little rock. And then up on the top, it looks to be either um, X or just original Mega Man, actually. Um, but, I mean, it, it makes more sense. It would be just regular X. And uh, falling from the sky there is something that I can't mention yet for spoiler reasons. Or at least that's what I think it is. Um, but yeah, they're all standing there. And um, if that's what... what <laughs> If that what is falling from the sky is what I think it is, then they have all died in the explosion with Omega, um, which also explains why Phantom is also there. Uh, but anyway, that's all of them in their cyber forms. So I, I think they're still alive, just watching Zero and do his stuff. They'll probably live until a certain Mega Man ZX when they get sucked into a piece of rock. But whatever, we'll get to that later. So uh, thanks for watching. Uh, we'll let you listen to this peaceful-ish music, and look at this artwork. So yeah, peace and sheep. Okay, so there are a few other things I would like to mention, and um, they are that it was hinted that Zero was not the real Zero since Zero One. Um, in the f after the first mission, he's like, "What if I'm not the real Zero?" And uh, also, all the bosses have the Omega icon underneath their health bar, kind of hinting toward Omega. This uh, artwork that you're seeing is from the Mega Man Zero Remastered Tracks uh, cover, or something like that, but uh, speaking of beautiful art, uh, check this out. This is the cover for Mega Man Zero 3 on the Game Boy Advance. Uh, it is the Japanese cover, and it depicts Zero standing next to Omega. So yeah, it's pretty cool. Next up, here's the American version, very nice. Um, this is not as cool as the Japanese, but uh, here's something terrible. Uh, if you scroll down in the video and look in the description right now, you'll see this next piece, which is the European box art. Now, I'm not sure what it is, but uh, the European box arts for Mega Man is usually really bad. But uh, in this case, they just tried to copy the Japanese box art, and instead of just directly copying it, they came up with this. Uh, yeah, it's actually in the description for the video. I hope YouTube will change it to the Japanese box art because it's just... Well, it's not a very good piece of art to uh, represent Mega Man Zero 3 as... or 3 with. It's just not very good, and I hope it's changed. Um, yeah, that's pretty much all I've got to say in this video. Um, so yeah, thank you for watching Peace and Sheep for Real this time, and I'll see you in Mega Man Zero Four. Or, you know, whatever I end up doing. <laughs>